Hello everyone, welcome to Yoke for Life. Myself Arsh, your yoga instructor, and today we are going to learn how to perform the chair Suri Namaskar. It is a modded variation of the traditional Suri Namaskar, specially made for those who find it hard to inculcate yoga due to problems like old age, long working hours, or sedentary lifestyle. These things make the body more agile, slows down the metabolism, making us prone to diseases. And during this COVID times, the stakes have never been higher. But there's nothing to worry, as Yoke for Life got your back covered. The slow and controlled movements of this customized chair Suri Namaskar will massage and relax your muscles, releasing all the tension and stiffness trapped inside. We will learn more about the benefits and the contraindications in the latter part of this video. But before that, please subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon button to get notified every time when we make a new post. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before we start this session, I want you to grab a chair without any armrest. And if that is not easily available there, then use any chair you want. Now for better demonstration of this Namaskar, I'm turning around. Here, sit comfortably on the chair, keep your back straight, heels just beneath your knees and make sure you are sitting in between the chair. Don't place your hips at the ease of the chair. Now join your palms together in front of your chest. Keep looking forward, keep your elbows parallel to the floor and now raise your hands up with inhalation, slowly and gently straighten your hands, open your palms, slightly lift up your shoulders and bend to the backward side. If possible, look at your thumbs and if you are getting any problem in balancing here, then you can also look forward like this way. It will help you to balance better in this posture. Sometimes in this posture, while raising our hands up, simultaneously we lean to the backward side like this way. So it may become the cause of injury of lower back. So try to raise your hands up completely and when you get your hands completely straight up to the sky, then start leaning to the backward side like this way. So hold the posture with normal inhalation and exhalation. And now with exhalation, slowly and gently bend forward, lengthen your spine and hands. And here get your hands down on the floor. Kindly make sure you don't have to hunch your back like this way. Don't loosen up your shoulders like this. Just keep your shoulders active, expand your chest and keep your back straight. And look forward. And if you have any neck issues, then you can also look to the downward. Otherwise, look forward and hold the posture with normal breaths. Slowly come back with inhalation and get your body into the sitting posture. And here as we exhale, lift up your right leg, folding it from the knee and interlock your fingers. Place it just beneath the right knee and pull your right thigh closer to the stomach like this way. Try to keep your back straight, look forward and hold the posture with normal inhalation and exhalation. And if you are getting, taking your heel up to the chair is difficult, then just bring your heel at your comfort level and then hold the posture with normal breaths. Otherwise, just follow me. So here as we inhale, release your right leg, get it down on the floor and with exhalation, slowly and gently bend forward. And hold the posture with normal inhalation and exhalation. Make sure your spine is straight here. Slowly come back with inhalation. And here as we exhale, we will do the same process from the other side. So this time lift up your left leg. And now interlocking your fingers, hold your left leg properly and pull your left thigh closer to the stomach. Keep your back straight, look forward and hold the posture with normal breaths. Here, the compression on your stomach will massage the internal organs. Now inhale, release your left leg, get it down. With exhalation, bend forward slowly and gently. Try to get your hands down on the floor. And here, this posture removes the stiffness of the back muscles, hip muscles and hamstrings. Slowly come back with inhalation, lengthen your spine and hands, raise your upper body. Do the whole process slowly and gently and here lean to the backward side, look at your thumbs, balance yourself and hold the posture with normal breaths. 
Now slowly come back and join your palms together in front of your chest. Now release your hands. Here we will practice this sequence one more round together. So just be ready for it. Keep your back straight. Join your palms together in front of your chest. And raise your hands up with inhalation. Slightly bend back. And here you can feel the complete stretch on your abdominal region, chest region and shoulders. Now exhale, slowly bend forward. Get your hands down. Keep looking forward and hold the posture with normal breathing. Feel this stretch on your back muscles, lower back and the hamstring muscles. Slowly come back to the sitting posture with inhalation. And as we exhale, lift up your right leg, folding it from the knee. And press your right leg towards the stomach. Hold the posture with normal breathe. Feel the complete relaxation of your abdominal region and the stretch on your lower back. Now release your right leg, inhale. Exhale, bend forward. Feel the contraction of your abdominal region. Enjoy the posture. And come back to the sitting posture with inhalation. Now exhale, lift up your left leg. Hold it properly. And press your stomach with it. Look forward. And now release your left leg with inhalation. Get it down. Exhale, bend forward slowly and gently. Keep your back straight. And now as we inhale, lengthen your spine and hands. Raise your upper body. Slowly and gently do the whole process. And here you can feel the complete extension of your entire spinal cord. Hold the posture with normal breathes. And slowly come back to the Namaskara. Join your palms together in front of your chest. Ease your hands. And now let's relax ourselves with deep inhalation and exhalation. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can practice the sequence three to five times in a day. Now coming on to the benefits of this mini sequence, it energizes your body by boosting the overall blood circulation, improves the mobility of the back muscles, leg and arms. Extremely helpful for the people in their old days who cannot perform the traditional Suri Namaskar. There are no such contraindications, just make sure to maintain a gap of one or two hours in between your last meal and the practice of the sequence. Anyways, this marks the end of this small yet interactive session. Do not forget to like this video, comment your experience, share with your family and friends. I will see you in the next one. Till then, Namaste.